Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be doing something I haven't done in a while. Well, two things I haven't done in a while. Uh, one is checking out new picks. Look at that pile. I'll go through all of them in a second. And two is actually playing an instrument. It has been quite a while since I have actually played an instrument on this channel. Uh, I was looking into audio, face, audio interfaces. I have not gotten one yet. Uh, at some point, I will get one and a microphone so everything sounds better. But for now, we're just going to be recording it directly through the GoPro uh, with the audio. So in my last video, or maybe it was two videos ago, I mentioned at the end that if you sent a 20 to 30 second video to Gravity Guitar Picks, uh, I'm just going to hold up one of their picks right now, um, they would give you a $25 promo code. So you're, you're probably asking, how did I get 11 picks from one $25 promo code when their picks are 5 or $6 a piece, uh, $5 being unpolished, $6 being polished. And I got 11 picks because I also had my mom and dad do a promo too, which if they ever put them up are going to be hilarious and I'm sure you will enjoy both of them. Um, but yes, I had three people uh, do a, including myself, three people do a $25 promotion. I got three codes and I got $75 worth of picks for like eleven fifty with shipping, because you do have to you did have to pay for the shipping. So I'm just gonna show you each pick first individually, and then we are going to go to me playing them on the bass. That's right. I'm gonna be using my Ebophone Thunderbird bass. So for starters, this is the Gravity Stealth Big Mini. I got most of them are gonna be the 1.5 millimeter in size. That is my favorite size. I got a couple of bigger ones too. So don't worry, I'll hold that close to the camera. Hopefully you can see each one. The next, I got a colored gold series, 1.5. This is like a grayish color. There's the back. This was like a $9 pick, just so you know prices as well. Um, I got the Seafoam Green. This is the regular one millimeter. Also a gold pick. Uh, we have the Classic Mini. So this is like your standard pick. This is the smallest size they offer. We have the Gravity 003 or 003. This is like your Jazz 3 style pick in the 1.5. This is also a Mini. Then here's a big boy. This is the Gravity, also the Jazz 3 size, in the Super. This is a 3 millimeter pick. So this one's a bit thicker. This is what I'm more why I wanted to you know get a couple of base picks in there as well. Uh, next is a nice difference in size. This is the Gravity Classic Extra Large. So this is your classic pick, but extra large size. And then we have one of my personal favorite shapes. I think um, this is the Sunrise. Sunrise, or sorry, actually this is the Stealth. We went over this Sunrise already. Stealth Standard 1.5, I like these because you have three edges, so theoretically that pick's going to last three times as long. This one is a classic Big Mini with unpolished edges. So the ed edges have not been polished, it is more rough. It's hard to see with this particular color. Um, let me bring out one here, yeah here you go. This is a old pick that I've had lying around. This is the Sunrise. Um, this one you can see a little bit better on the side, hopefully if the camera picks it up. Next one we have, which I thought was an interesting shape, uh, this is a standard trip, also unpolished. And then ending it off is the classic pointed standard 4mm. Uh, so now I have a gravity guitar pick in every single size they offer, that's why I purposely went after those two big picks. Wanted to try the Gold Series 2, wanted to try different shapes, polished versus unpolished. So without further ado, let's get into the playing demo. All right, so we're going to be starting off with the Gravity 003 Mini 003. It's like a Jazz 3 1.5 millimeter. This one is polished as well. Uh, I am going to probably just be switching it up here and there. I got the Ebophone Thunderbird. Everything's on 10. Um, down here, we're actually just going to be doing the uh, middle pickup or neck pickup, whatever you want to call it. Got it going through the Univox Stage 2 amp with my, it's like a 1x15 speaker. I'm going to try to keep playing this in this range so you can actually see what I'm doing, but uh, I'm sure you're just curious as to how it plays, so let's just get on with the show.
one's a little too small for me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that might be good better for a guitar just because of the size. Uh, next, we're going to be moving on to the Classic Mini 1.5 millimeter again. Next we are doing the classic, I believe this is unpolished, yep, unpolished Big Mini. This one, I can already tell I like this one a little bit better, feels a little bit heftier in my hand. probably my favorite so far. Uh, next we're going to try the gold one point millimeter in a seafoam green color. This is like a classic style. They don't really come in different styles, this particular one. That sounds a lot different, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it's coming up through the uh, camera or not, but this sounds like, it almost sounds darker. I kind of like it. I'm going to go down to the uh, bridge pickup. I'm going to grab the uh, Big Mini Stealth again, just for a quick comparison. And we go back to the gold. Definitely a tonal difference there. Uh, let's move on to our striker. So this is like a classic, you know, regular classic, except you just, it's similar to the stealth, but it's not as pointy. So they're more rounded edges. This is also a big mini as well. doing there is uh, with the striker big mini I was just kind of uh, flipping it around to see <laughs> what I liked you know if all the angles were the same and yeah it's pretty much the same uh, the trip is interesting because it has two kind of picking angles I would call it this is a 1.5 standard unpolished as well and then it has this more rounded edge which I really wouldn't want to pick with that but uh, I'm gonna try using both sides for this <laughs>
like that one too. Honestly, the unpolished versus polished, there do, it seems like the polished gives you a little bit more grip on the string. I'm going to turn it to the side now, just because, I mean, you kind of have that option, but uh, yeah. <laughs> use that edge uh, I like definitely like that bottom edge better just the way I hold just the way you hold the pick it feels better in your hand that way uh, let's move on to our next gold series uh, 1.5 gold this is like a grayish whitish color front and back yeah this these are definitely darker <laughs> i don't know what these are made out of uh but it's de like if you got a bright telecaster like something that or a bright strat that's just like a little bit too much uh honestly this gold series it's like nine, i just know it's a little bit expensive it is like nine bucks a pick but um it 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 gets rid of it like it it, it cuts it back a lot was one of the things I saw in the review that I was like well I'll see what happens when I get it but uh, it's it's a fact I'll just play that same little riff I was playing before just for a comparison Um, yeah, I mean now let's we're gonna compare it to the regular standard stealth and I'll go through all three sides just uh, for a comparison between the different sides, but um, I'll do the same thing again I'm hoping you can catch it through the GoPro, but definitely a significant difference between the Gold Series and the regular series here. I do like the Stealth. I think the Stealth is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the Minis are too small for me. Big Minis are fine. Standards are fine. Um, we're going to go... I haven't tried the XL yet, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. We're going to go with a big boy next. 003 Super 3mm Polished. Yeah, it digs in there a lot heftier than those 1.5s. for the base i'll be honest that is a nice three millimeter that's a nice size for a base pick uh let's do the classic standard this is the xl this i think yeah maybe the minis i didn't really care for this is pretty big this is actually bigger than that last pick i'll just hold them up for a comparison it's 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 a lot it's so it's 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 wider it's definitely a little wider as you can see there just from that quick little comparison uh let's see what we got
it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I think I like the standard and the big mini a little bit more. That's more my comfortable range, but uh, it's definitely usable, definitely playable. If you're a person that has bigger hands, longer fingers, uh, XL might be what you're looking for. All right, so that we're on the last one here. This is the classic pointed standard four millimeter pointy. That's all it means. So it's like a classic pick. The end is sharper. This one already feels like a big chungus. This one, we'll do both pickups for this one, why not? You can slap with this, so that is a, I mean, you can probably pop with it too. So there you have it. There is 11 different types, shapes, sizes, uh, polished versus unpolished, styles of pick. Let me know if you have a personal favorite. Um, the 1.5 millimeter, that's where I like to be. One millimeter to 1.5 millimeter. Two is a little bit too big. Uh, two, three, and up. Up to a six millimeter, because I remember I have showed you that six millimeter pick before. That's going on the bass. I like those a little bit thicker picks for playing bass. Um, but the 1.5 is good for both bass and guitar, in my opinion. That's where I like to be. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Leave a like while you're down there as well. And let me know what you'd like to see for future guitar and music-related videos. I am Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.